Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are just going to do a regular general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you work it on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. And got my six, mean I have my back because I have yours. This is regular tarot. Let's see where your energy is. You guys, I can't appreciate how many times I have responded to you guys. I've gotten more likes than ever. You guys, if you haven't gotten my notifications, please, uh, you might have to unsubscribe and resubscribe to get the notifications. We got the lovers. We have the two of pentacles, and we have the star card. Doing what makes your heart happy, making decisions, and having faith in a situation is what is going on. King of Cups energy is the empathetic nature of when it, when it comes to what you have to do in order to make the decisions to be, um, to have emotional balance is basically what it is. So doing what makes your heart happy, making decisions, two years you've been trying to have faith in regards to trying to be emotional, uh, emotionally controlled and having balance. And at some point when it comes to changing your belief system and also Dang, the emperor energy, you know, respecting yourself in the process or having some type of energy, you're unlearning to relearn. Ace of Pentacles is having the courage to be able to do this. And so that is how I see this energy. I'm going to go ahead and clarify these with a different deck because with a different tarot deck, because at some point you have to know what it is that you're going through, and why you feel the way you do. But the new beginnings could be in regards to love. It could be in regards to jobs. It could be in regards to just making everyday decisions. And at some point, you have to know that you have to have faith regardless on whatever it is that you're trying to do. And to have emotional control is really hard, especially when it comes to your belief system, you know, and the things that you've done. So, the, again, the emperor energy is respecting yourself, but also the emperor energy is letting you know that, when it comes to you being the authority figure and having structure and also a solid foundation, it has sometimes it has to do with matters of the heart that keep you back or it has to do with the things that you are afraid to do. So the lover's energy is what we're clarifying. Unsure with the two swords energy. So air energy on top of air energy. You're unsure if you can trust in yourself or in a situation. Let's clarify the two of swords. You're unsure if you can trust in yourself or or um someone or something and so doing what makes your heart happy makes you sit in stagnation yeah empress energy um the empress energy is you know create you're unsure about what it is that you want to create when it comes to making decisions that will get you through the future and so the two of pentacles energy is what we're clarifying that comes with the hermit energy the soul searching is there the hermit energy also lets you know that excuse me, when it comes to you meditating, you're afraid to even pull your energy to even look at something new, but you know that it's something that you need to have faith in. You know, the hermit energy also in the reverse is you isolating yourself, but it also is you soul searching at the same time. Let's clarify the hermit and the um, that needs clarification. You have to make a decision on coming out of your shell and also believing in seeing the beauty and creating the things that you want. Um, the card comes out is the five of pentacles. It's been struggled too long, close to seven years, two years. Each pentacle is equivalent to a year. We have the five of pentacles here, five years. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's been about seven years that you've been sitting back and trying to make a decision. This is the five years of struggle. This is the two years of trying to contemplate what it is you should do to have faith and move forward. The star energy is here. And with the star energy, again, having faith, being optimistic, and also knowing that Page of Cups energy, this is a process when it comes to the opportunities that come to you. Excuse me, the opportunities that come to you. You know, it's like Page of Cups energy is the things that you dreamed about, the things that you want. You got to have faith in those energies and not let anybody talk you out of it. The King of Cups energy, having emotional control is really hard for us cancers because we're an empathetic nature, and so is the King of Cups. The King of Cups energy says only love, compassion, and understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you seek. But if you are unsure, 
about the options that you have, the Seven of Cups energy, because that tried to come over, it turned sideways. If you're unsure about the options that you have, if you're unsure about your purpose, if you're unsure about what it is that you're trying to see or there's just an illusion there, let's clarify the Seven of Cups, then you're not going to move forward. You're going to constantly keep going around and around, going with the flows, not setting boundaries and doing things like that when it comes to dealing with other people. So the Seven of Cups energy comes with the judgment in the reverse. You're blocking this energy. Judgment is like you facing yourself, but you don't want to face the fact that this could be you moving forward, but at the same time, you're causing yourself stagnation in the process of this. So you have to be able to come out on a different side of this situation and understand that you've done everything that you can in a situation that has met, ha has like reached this plateau. Let's clarify the judgment in the reverse. Yeah, you've done everything that you can. You know, it's not anything to feel sorry about. You just have to unsure energy. And this is the six of wands. This is normally victory. This is normally victory. This is normally, you know, having your cake and eating it to success. But you're unsure about what the outcome will be with any situation if this is about success or Ten of Cups energy. So, again, you have to, uh, when it comes to the King of Cups, have emotional control and see what it is that you want. And this is Ten of Cups energy. The Ten of Cups energy is inner happiness. You have to have inner happiness. Ha inner <laughs> excuse me, inner happiness, comp, inner happiness, confidence, and also doing what makes your heart happy, but being able to create and see the beauty in the struggle that you went through. And so a lot of the times we only look at the negative and never really the positive or ever see a better outcome, but you have to picture it. You have to write it down. You have to say what it is that you want. You have to set boundaries. And when it comes to the Hierophant energy, change your belief system because the unknown energy of the what is this the nine is this the, oh the six of cups given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself you're feel, feeling that if you give more to yourself then you know you're going to be taken advantage of and so the six of pentacles energy is just letting you know that there is going to be situations to where you know you'll see um um what is it you'll see you'll you'll have to you'll have to be able you'll have to either give and receive money and be generous and who your loving self is. But this also comes with having self-care and paying off all the debts that you have because you've built up a, a resistance of, you, you built up debt in regards to helping people and having that one-sided charity um, energy. So you have to unlearn to relearn and change how you give and receive. And not that you're being funny or being facetious, even though it feels like you're taking away what you are as a person, as a cancer, but what you have to do, yeah, the nine of pentacles, you have to be able to set those boundaries, stop giving one-sided energy, set one-sided finances, one-sided things like that in order for you to have your nine of pentacles energy, your rewards. And so again, it says here with the six of pentacles, excuse me, the six of wands here, if you're unsure about this, this will come, but you got to know that this is what you want, but it all starts with how you do things finance fa finance wise because this is a reflection with you making decisions to go and soul search because you've struggled for so long if you start to look at things for what it is six of pentacles here of how you give and six of pentacles um being unsure you have to know that one-sided charity and you paying off all your debts will get you to the nine of wands energy and just stop giving so freely to people who really don't appreciate that. And so the nine of the emperor energy is what we're clarifying now. The emperor energy is comes out. Yep. Yeah, walking away from the things that no longer serve you. And also seven of uh, pinnacles energy planted in the seed. So you have to be able to have some type of stability to be able to respect yourself and to be able to walk away when things don't serve you, but plant the seed as you move forward. And that is what the universe is trying to tell you. You know, um, it's been five years of struggle, two years of trying to make a decision, six years of giving to people who just take, take, take. And now here it is close to the ninth year that you are having everything because it all started with you planting the seeds and walking away and setting boundaries for yourself. And that is what you have to do. It's not to feel, um, it's not to feel 
mad or sad at yourself or to be like, I, this is not me. It's to gain that emotional control that you need and balance. And also when it comes to how you give and receive, when it comes to your pinnacles and your generosity, you know, it take it starts with self-care and it starts with you actually starting to pull your energy back based upon the struggle and starting to pay off the old debts and starting to look at things and say, how did I get to this point? And it took five years of going through this, two years of deciding, and now close to being at your um, seventh or ninth year, whichever applies to you, that your fears, you have to face your fears, the moon energy. You have to face your fears and you have to remember, remember who you are but you have to face your fears. That's a part of it. And that takes courage to be able to do that. And to face your fears is for you to have to turn your back on the people that you walked, that you came into this life with, or that, you know, you had a connection with. And that's all for your betterment. Again, the Ace of um, Pentacles energy is to let you know that you are able to manifest anything that you want. You have always have different opportunities. You're very abundant, but excuse me, facing your fears, moon energy, and remembering who you are will help you get to where you need to be, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I think I'll just leave it at this. I'll pull from the emotion deck to see what's going on in your head emotionally to see how you feel. But this is a lesson that you have to learn. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. And every man is your teacher. And no matter how much of a broken record I sound, until you get that in your head, you're going to constantly resent the people that, you know, you feel like it's discouraging you from moving forward. But in actuality, it's yourself. It says disheartened, deterred, um, dispirited, and discouraged. So this is one energy that you feel and also you feel compassionate in that same energy and inspired so you're inspired to see to create to have your cake and eat it too but you have to get out of feeling discouraged because of how somebody else made you feel or feel worried about what you cannot control which is the future so all the thing you can control right now is the present moment and your fears remembering who you are like um old rafiki say you either run from it or you learn from it and Mufasa says, remember who you are, you know. And so once you remember that and understand why you set out to get on this path, then you'll realize that, you know, I'm doing this for my betterment. And this is so that I can gain emotional control and not take anything personally and not make assumptions on somebody. It says, say goodbye to the sadness and drama. And that's all you're doing. It says all the sadness and drama you have lived in your life was rooted in making assumptions and taking things personally. The whole world, it says uh, taking things personally. The whole world of control between humans is based on that, a moment of consider, uh, excuse me, take a moment and consider this. So taking things personally. So don't make assumptions. Don't be sad. Say goodbye to the drama and all the negative energy. And then when it comes to your chakras, the crown, the third eye, and the throat chakra, it's the indigo aurora quartz and it's spiritual communication, psychic, psychic envisions, and dreaming. So you're going after your dreams, and that's what these are right here. And whether somebody feels like it's not something that you're able to create, you have to sit down and say, you know what, I planted the seed, and if you don't think and you can't um, – give me the support that I need, then it's time for me to walk away. And so it says, I'm connected to a higher power in the universe. I'm connected to a higher power in the universe. And that's what you need to know in order to move forward. Now, let's let this old energy go of being worried and not knowing. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, Generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.